Change the way you look at things and the things you look at will change. Wayne Dyer. Dr. Wayne Dyer, born on May 10, 1940, he passed away leaving his physical form on August 29, 2015 at the age of 75. His teachings and his spiritual form will live on for eternity. The Teddy Story There is a story many years ago of an elementary teacher, her name was Miss Thompson, and as she stood in front of her fifth grade class on the very first day of school, she told the children a lie. Like most teachers, she looked at her students and said that she loved them all the same. But that was impossible because there in the front row, slumped in his seat, was a little boy named Teddy Studdard. Miss Thompson had watched Teddy the year before and noticed that he didn't play well with the other children, that his clothes were messy, and that he constantly needed a bath and Teddy could be unpleasant. It got to the point where Miss Thompson would actually take delight in marking his papers with a broad red pen, making bold X's and then putting a big F at the top of his papers. At the school where Miss Thompson taught, she was required to review each child's past records and she put Teddy's off until last. However, when she reviewed his file, she was in for a surprise. Teddy's first grade teacher wrote, Teddy is a bright child with a ready laugh. He does his work neatly and has good manners. He is a joy to be around. His second grade teacher wrote, Teddy is an excellent student well liked by his classmate but he is troubled because his mother has a terminal illness and life at home must be a struggle his third grade teacher wrote his mother's death had been hard on him he tries to do his best but his father doesn't show much interest and his home life will soon affect him if some steps aren't taken. Teddy's fourth grade teacher wrote, Teddy is withdrawn and doesn't show much interest in school. He doesn't have many friends and he sometimes sleeps in class. By now, Miss Thompson realized the problem and she was ashamed of herself. She felt even worse when her students brought her Christmas presents wrapped in beautiful ribbons and bright paper, except for Teddy's. His present was clumsily wrapped in the heavy brown paper that he got from a grocery bag. Miss Thompson took pain to open it in the middle of the other presents. Some of the children started to laugh when she found the rhinestone bracelet with some of the stones missing in a bottle that was one quarter full of perfume. But she stifled the children's laughter when she explained how pretty the bracelet was, putting it on and dabbing some of the perfume on her wrist. Teddy Stoddard stayed after school that day just long enough to say, Miss Thompson, Today you smell just like my mom used to. After the children left, she cried for at least an hour. On that very day, she quit teaching, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Instead, she began to teach children. Miss Thompson began to pay close attention to Teddy as she worked with him. As time went on, his mind seemed to come alive. The more she encouraged him, the faster he responded. By the end of the year, Teddy has become one of the smartest children in the class. Despite her lie, he had become one of her teacher's pet. A year later, she found a note under her door from Teddy, telling her that she was still the best teacher he ever had in his whole life. 
six years went by before she got another note from Teddy. He then wrote that he had finished high school, third in his class, and she was still the best teacher he ever had in his whole life. Four years after that, she got another letter saying that while things had been tough at times, he'd stayed in school, had stuck with it, and would soon graduate from college with the highest of honors. He assured Miss Thompson that she was still the best and favorite teacher he ever had in his whole life. Then four more years passed and yet another letter came. This time he explained that after he got his bachelor degree, he decided to go a little further. The letter explained that she was still the best and favorite teacher he ever had. But now his name was a little longer. The letter was signed Theodore Stoddard, MD. The story doesn't end there. You see, there was yet another letter that spring. Teddy said he'd met this girl and was going to be married. He explained that his father had died a couple of years ago and he was wondering if Miss Thompson might agree to sit in the place at the wedding that was usually reserved for the mother of the groom. Of course, Miss Thompson did. And guess what? She wore that bracelet, the one with several rhinestones missing. And she made sure she was wearing the perfume that Teddy remembered his mother wearing on their last Christmas together. They hugged each other, and Dr. Stoddard whispered in Mrs. Thompson's ear, Thank you, Miss Thompson, for believing in me. Thank you so much for making me feel important and showing me that I could make a difference. Miss Thompson, with tears in her eyes, whispered back. She said, Teddy, you have it all wrong. You were the one who taught me that I could make a difference. I didn't know how to teach until I met you. I dedicate this video to my very first teacher, my mother. This video is also a gift to all the teachers. The world needs more teachers, ones that teach with love and care. One looks back with appreciation to the brilliant teachers, but with gratitude to those who touched our human feelings. The curriculum is so much necessary raw material, but warmth is a vital element for the growing plant and for the soul of the child, Carl Jung. Share this video and help in making a difference in a teacher's life and perhaps in a child's life.